Let's talk real talk. So what they're saying is, it's okay for CPS to snatch a kid out of a home and separate it from his child. It's okay to allow a mother to give a child to a non-relative or a stranger without consulting the father in the father's family that's still living. But it's okay for them to emotionally torment a child by separating them from their family, their DNA, anyone in their family that's still living. But it's in their mindset of separating the kid that they're still doing is, is it's the same cause and effect. What the court system is saying, well, you need to build child relationship up. But you didn't think about that when you took them and put them in foster care. It, the system is unjust. You want a parent that is biologically connected scientifically to do a parent relationship meetup for, of their own DNA. They don't need to, that's going to come automatically. But you place them in a stranger's home, knowing that they don't have no DNA connection. They have emotional connection because they have a psychological issue with attachment problems. See, people get fooled and don't understand how corrupt this child custody is corrupt. You give it to a child to a stranger and then later on in life, these become the same problem children, the same broken children that build relationships and confuse. And a lot of times they try to seek their family members and try to ask the questions because a lot of times whoever home they get placed in, they lie and they exaggerate and they put lies of un that's not factual. Now, some things do happen. But majority of the time, a lot of things don't happen. I'm speaking on childs that are misplaced incorrectly by the system area of CPS, the state, the court system. The judge makes that decision based on a child living in a home from birth and acting like the child gonna have the issue. The only person that having the connection problem is the person that took the child in the home. It's never the child. Children can adapt from emotion quickly than adults. Adults are the ones that have attachments to the children. The children have natural attachments to their biological parent by birth. It's nothing that you can unsever that no matter how bad the situation is. I have seen parents do horrendous, horrible things to their children where they end up in CPS. And those children still want their parents. So, and the only ones that don't is because they've been blinded and lied to and told that they, the person that has them from, that they're their true parents. So, basically, the system teaching the kids to lie, teaching the person that's raising them to lie to them. So, you really could, you're teaching the person to be a criminal and they don't even realize that they're criminals. I don't think you got that. They're teaching grown-ass people that know that they're doing wrong to commit a crime. It's okay to take someone as a kid illegally or legally and lie to them and say that they're mom and dads, knowing that they're not. So you teaching. So when the child grows up and get older, they start doing things that you don't like. Because you and instilled and they find out that you're not their real parents and they rebel against you and get angry. Or they or either they not angry, they just trying to find the truth and seek out their family. Then you feel in some kind of way because now they gotta go visit who they truly are connected to. The system is screwed to teach you to lie, steal, and kill. He don't even realize it. And I'm not against the legal system because I used to work for the, the county in the federal. But I know that there's errors and flaws in it. It's, and it's not this, the, the errors and flaws is because humans have the ability to modify on their power. You can make a law and you can put a person in place. 
and they have they allow them to use their emotions to 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 rule a law or a place an order on someone and they doing it out of their own personal being just and attacking people that they don't know regardless who it is they automatically judgmental based on their past experiences or how they feel so rather they're doing it by the law and what's right naturally by the law of the land or naturally by the spirit world or creator whatever you want to call it but naturally by design by what you what is supposed to be right i'm just saying it's a different from a kid that's in harm and a kid that's not in harm a kid that is abandoned and there's no one else that you can find it's a big difference but if there is people living that seven person's bloodline they most likely want them the, the choices is you hid and kidnap the kid it's still called theft no matter how they want to look at it. it is called kidnapping a child in the legal system it's a word of thought